Hello everyone, my name is Greg Durellian and I'd like to share with you my perspective in the fight for a fair wage on stage. So, I lived in New York City from 2001 until 2009. I arrived with my MFA and my equity card and it was my goal to be a New York actor. I didn't just want to be a New York based actor that worked regionally and though I did do a lot of that, I wanted to be a New York actor. I wanted to work on New York stages. I wanted to collaborate with New York actors. And I wanted to share and tell stories for New York audiences. And for the better part of those eight years, I started to make that happen for myself. I forged some really wonderful relationships with some very reputable, awesome off-Broadway houses. And I did some work that I was extremely proud of and still am to this day. And yet there was this one element, and it truly was the element that forced my hand to make a decision to do something else, move to Los Angeles, that really... I. I, I couldn't figure it out. And it was obviously the economics. I couldn't figure out how to sustain and maintain a creative artistic life, a theatrical life, with a life life in New York. And of course, like everyone else, I had to have a survival job. My survival job slash supplemental income came from bartending. And it was my last year, this little story I want to share with you from my last year in New York, that really exemplifies how insane this whole juggling act is. So that last year, I booked two shows back to back at, at this off-Broadway house. I was very excited by it, but because of the paychecks, I had to continue to bartend during that time. So this is what a weekend typically looked like. On Friday, I would rehearse all day, and then I would uh, perform at night, and then the show would come down at 10.30. I would jump into my street clothes, and I would go downtown and bartend until 4 in the morning. I'd get home at 5.30, pass out by 6. I'd get up for my two-show Saturday. I'd come in for the two-show Saturday, show would come down at 10.30 again, I would go into my street clothes, downtown, bartend, 4 in the morning, 4.30, home by 5, asleep by 6, but because it's a one-show Sunday, I typically had rehearsal in the morning, so I'd get about two, two and a half hours of sleep on a Sunday, come in, rehearse, perform the matinee, and then finally I could pass out, which often I did, and I wish I could say I enjoyed my day off, but I didn't because I had to work on my day off, and that was what six months look like for me. And I look back on it now in hindsight and I go, oh my God, I was exhausted all the time during that time that this wall of exhaustion was what kept me from bringing my entire creative self to the process both on stage and in the rehearsal room. And I think about how wonderful it would be if the producers and the theaters could understand that if they could do their part in helping to reduce, minimize, or get rid of that exhaustion, how much better we could bring ourselves to the process of creating this wonderful art and sharing these stories with an audience. And I think about that and I extrapolate that on all the actors that are still in New York doing this and how much exhaustion there exists. And I, w I really hope that the producers and theaters understand this point, that a rising tide floats all boats. A fair wage on stage. Get behind it. It's the future. Thank you very much for listening to my perspective.